Hey friends, it's Lola and I'm back with another video. Today, I'm going to show you my process of painting from grayscale to color. Why should you try to paint from grayscale to color? Well, there are two reasons. If you're like me when I first started digital art, who was used to shading in black and white with pencil and paper and had no idea how to color, this technique is going to make your life easier. Starting with grayscale allows you to focus solely on nailing the values and then seamlessly add colors later. Now, I don't always begin my drawings in grayscale anymore, but I still use this technique when I want to paint something with special or dramatic lighting like these. These types of paintings often involve a wide range of hues and colors, and getting the colors right while nailing the dramatic lighting can be pretty intimidating and it can be a mess unless you know color theory. Okay, enough explaining, let's start painting. So I'm gonna show you the time lapse of me painting in grayscale and then I will move on to show you how I color. Okay, instead of flattening all the layers together, I saved the painting without the background and saving just the background by itself, like these. Now I'm gonna import those layers back and create a layer on top, set it to clip mask and change the layer mode to color. And I'll pick the color from the reference and start brushing on just the skin for now. Don't worry, I know that the color is pretty off, but I will adjust it later to make it match with the reference. So about the different layer mode, uh, I used to do soft light. It is a bit muted and desaturated than the color you want, so it would be pretty tricky to adjust the color to how you would want it. So I wouldn't recommend that. And then the other option is overlay. Uh, overlay is better as a um, touch-up layer rather than a base layer because it's super bright and saturated. And the other option is multiply. Multiply can work well, but you would have to pick a color much brighter to get the outcomes you want. So for this tutorial, I would just use color mode instead. Okay, so... What I'm doing next is to brush over the rest of the skin and create another layer on top for different parts of the painting. For example, the hair is in a separate layer, the lips and eye whites in one layer, and the iris in one layer, etc. It's all up to you on how you want to separate your layers as long as they're in color mode. The reason why I have different layers for different parts is that Whenever I want to adjust color for each part, I would just adjust for that layer and it wouldn't affect other parts of the drawing. Now that we have all the base color down, I know it looks pretty flat, but it means that it's time to add an overlay layer on top and start adding some different hue to the drawing. In this case, I'm picking a very desaturated blue, light blue to brush over the shadow part of her skin, just like the reference here. And here's a quick comparison of what the overlay layer did to the painting. I don't know if you can see from this screen recording, but what I'm doing here is brushing over the lighter parts of the hair where the lights hit, just to bring out that brightness. Now I'm adding a brown color onto the iris to bring the colors out a bit more. I would also go back to the base layer earlier to adjust the colors. And now I'm going to add some blush on her face and tip of her nose to bring some life to her and to also match the reference. Here's another comparison for you to see how much the overlay layer changed the painting. If you still feel like the shadow is not really there, you can always add a multiply layer on top and go over where the darkest part of the painting is. Just some retouching is very optional. 
Now that we went over all the steps of how I paint from grayscale to color, what I'm gonna do next is just go over the painting with some retouching, mostly using liquify tool and adjust some color here and there until I like it, but uh, for the steps overall, that's basically it. So I really hope that you find it helpful and would try out this technique. If you do, please let me know. I would love to see. Have a great rest of your day. Thank you for watching. Bye!